What is up everybody, Scape211 here. We're on the test server and we got the Chain Gun 12. All right, we're gonna do kind of a little test today. I'll put my build up here. Uh, I went I went max with this, all right, in terms of just a max overall build because the Chain Gun 12 is one that, you know, you're gonna duplicate, at least take the six star. So I wanna just show its max potential because it's gonna be closer to end game for most anyway. And uh, this, you know, now that we have a 12, I wanna compare it with the minigun, all right? Um, and uh, I've been playing with this for a bit the 12 uh this is just one that i think works well at least with uh, eclipse just because i i've enjoyed playing eclipse kind of range um and it's not bad as you can see i mean i i wanted to see how good it's going to be for its double damage its regular damage um that kind of stuff it it has been performing pretty decently um i do have uh you know the the best implants on it um the biggest one that's interesting as i play with this more is just that you generally want to keep like long range right um this is obviously one that you want to keep longer but this feels like a almost like a a low-end long-range weapon all right because uh unlike some other weapons that are like assault that have some range benefits or some range implants this one is a legendary one and when you add that um the overall max range uh is like between 130 140 i think it's actually somewhere in the neighborhood of like uh, a little over 140 meters for its max range and then its optimal range is just under 100 meters which is quite big for uh you know an assault or like you know heavy based weapon all right um for comparison the minigun does not have a range increase one its optimal range is 65 meters this one naturally is 75 meters so it already has more but um you know you add all that benefit um, overall, I will say it feels like a pretty good weapon. It's it's interesting. I appreciate its accuracy and its range. It does still require a lot of sustain, and it does still take a little longer to kill stuff on its own than I would like. But it all depends on how you know how much your double damage shots are landing, um, you know, and that kind of stuff. So it's not exactly easy to just say like. Yeah, it's DPS is bad. When you consider how much range you have with this, as well as how much you can keep optimal range, it's really not that bad. Um, you know, I, I still find this to be better than the carbines in terms of it's like the bullets are still more accurate at range um, and the damage potential, especially given its optimal range. Oh, man, I was I was worried that guy was just going to kill me with a disc launcher shot. Um, the uh you know the, the potential is there all right um i also think it works really well for eclipse especially if you're just bot hunting um just because you know people are, are not gonna be able to get a shot on you when you're talking about playing real players i do think the sustain on this is probably a little too long for what would be like ideal against a player um so i don't know if i would say it's in the meta range but you know it's still a very interesting fun and useful weapon if you want to play like uh, a sustain type of build at long range. There's nothing else I think that's as long as this that you could do with like assault or sustain weapons in the same way, unless you're running beams. So, um, you know, for more consistent damage like this, uh, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I was, you know, happy with my experience for it. All right, so for this, I, I don't know if I even said this before, but we're gonna, we're gonna play some of the uh, minigun now. Really the same kind of setup. I'll put in its, you know, pseudo max build or what could be a good max build for this. Um, just by comparison between the two. And I gotta say, I've been playing this one a bit already. Um, I don't know if this will be the match I use because I've, I've had some decent matches with this already. This definitely felt easier to pilot. Um, you know, it has its own little quirks to it and downsides, of course, but the DPS that this outputs the sustain just goes faster like it kills things quicker and you know based on when you're in range with stuff it's gonna deal with it i think better i mean you do have the quote unquote range benefit you get from the chain gun but i still think that this even you know at longer distances like here is gonna kill this guy faster than the chain gun would um even though i didn't get the kill there but uh obviously you want to be in your optimal range but 65 meters is still very respectful for an optimal range and even when you're not in optimal range and you're hitting close to its max i think the max on this is 130 so its max is a little bit less than if you were to use the legendary range implant on the chain gun but that's going to be more unrealistic i think for people to get 
and this is still gonna do pretty well in the DPS department even at range. Like, look at that one. I mean, I think, I don't know if that one, well, that was side damage, but, uh, you know, I, I still feel like it's killing stuff faster. Um, and I also appreciate, like, its its level of uptime. I think I just got a, a um, monster kill there, uh, but it gave me a ton of stuff, so I, there we go. Okay, I was like, I don't know if I timed that right and got all four, but, yeah, it's, you know, it's just the, the amount of ammo that you have and the potential you have for kills and uptime is really good. You just want to be careful, like, when you want to reload that you are definitely safe. And I also, I will say personally, I feel like I have to get used to after I have a single encounter watching my ammo to know if I should reload yet or not. I am used to with other weapons after one encounter to reload right away. But obviously you want to mitigate your reload time just because it's already high per reload in this. So if you can, you know, fight a few people, well, I should have reloaded there. If you can fight a few people before you hit the reload, that's obviously going to be more beneficial. But yeah, I, I really have found this to be the better way to go um, between these two weapons, in my personal opinion. Uh, I, I, I think both are probably better than the carbines, and for me, the carbines are, are pretty much dead as a legendary weapon by comparison to this, especially once we get the gear hub and all legendaries are pretty much the same cost. You know, when you compare these, and, and I think you'll have access to all at the same time, like 6, 8, 12, you know, whatever they have for each one. Um, the Carbine 12s are just not going to compare to either of these weapons, um, generally speaking, you know, uh, because it won't really have the range or the output damage. I mean, there may be some times where I would say the Carbines with, with uh, peaking burst fire might fare better than chain guns. Um, so that might be something where, where the, the Carbines still have benefits, but... I don't know. Between these two weapons, I think they're they're just better overall. Um, but they're heavy duty, so obviously it's in a different class. But yeah, I mean, with that, I, I think this is probably the one I'm going to use for my footage. Um, but it's it's been common for me to get godlikes with this, and I didn't always with the Chain Gun 12. So I definitely feel like the Mini Gun 12 is better. I know this wasn't a, an official comparison, but that's like, you know, just me kind of talking about my experience with these two weapons. I definitely feel like between the two... You know, yeah, similar max bot setups um, or nearly max uh, that this was the better weapon. But you guys can let me know what you think about the two weapons, if you've experienced it or what you think of them overall. And we will see you out there on Battlefield.